Hello, this is Toll from Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce everyone to an add-on that's not a free add-on, it's a paid for or a paid add-on. And for the price, it's not too bad, but it's an add-on that generates rain in your scene. I have uh, showcased an add-on like this before called the Weather Effects add-on, but this has a few more features in it that the Weather Effects does not have, which I'm going to show you what they are here in a few minutes. But to download this, or to install it in Blender, it's the same process once you've downloaded it onto your computer. Like I said before, I'll leave a link of it so you can download it yourselves. Go to Edit, Preferences, Install, navigate to where you've installed it or downloaded it onto your system. I've already done that myself. And, uh, come on. Oh, I thought that froze up for a second. You can just type in Rain. And that's the bag of rain generated, put a check in the box, and that activates it. Now, when this add-on first came out, it was actually a dot .blend file, where, I don't know if anyone's seen that, but it would have a cannon in the middle with rain coming down on the cannon. And you would have to basically append that to your scene where you have to take out the cannon and put in whatever you want to put in, uh, in terms of having a rain effect on it. Only problem with that is that it pretty much uh, was kind of heavy, and it calls my computer specifically, I don't know if having anyone else's, but the rendering time was just kind of something else. But this add-on is a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, that was my phone. I'm trying to like record. Everything keeps going off at the same time just as I'm recording, but let's just ignore all that stuff. Uh, but this add-on is a lot better now. They've turned into an actual add-on. Um, and once you've put it on your, or installed it in Blender, so it's going to be on, on the right-hand side of user interface just down here and you would have to have an object in your scene selected in order to activate the add-on so let's click on add rain now these little um, like speech bubbles with the eye in it that's those are tool tips which are unique because when you click on it it'll let you know what uh, what you should do and pull this up a little bit and some of them they have videos attached to them these don't, but some of them have video clips attached to them to show you uh, visually what the elements or parameters do. But in order to see the uh, instructions, you have to be logged in online. Now I've clicked on the rain, and the good thing about this add-on too, I'll have to mention this, I'm using 3.4 for this add-on, I think it only works 3.4 and above, not below. Uh, but with this add-on, you can add raindrops to each object in your scene. You don't have to have a, uh, a system. Like usually with Blender you have to create um, like a... Let me see, what's the term I'm looking for? You would have to have a system created above your scene like a... Uh, let me see, Shift A. Like a plane. That's why I'm trying to figure out a plane. And have the drops coming from the plane over the whole entire scene. But with this on, you can just assign specific rain elements to specific elements here, so it doesn't overwhelm your system, which we've done here right now. We've put it, the raindrops only on the cube. I'm going to click on the rain so you can see what elements that are there that make it different from the weather effects add-on, which are these droplets. When I press play, you can see that it actually causes splashing, which you can do yourself in Blender, but it's just a tedious process. This makes it completely and extremely easy which is great. Um, another thing about this is that these don't render out an EV, uh, the spec of the droplets. If you scroll down, you'll see it says splashes and available EV switch to cycles. So you have to switch the cycles to see the splashes. So we're going to do that ourselves. Click on cycles, left click on that. Turn this from CPU to GPU. And when we do that, you'll see the splashes. And another thing this, this add-on does automatically is that it causes a motion blur in the uh, droplets. Right now, as we're looking at the droplets, they're just uh, like little squares or cubes. But when you render this out, there'll actually be little streaks of rain coming down, which is also helpful. So you don't have to worry about motion blur yourself. This does it for you automatically. Now let's go to some of the parameters to see what this has to show, have has to offer. For you can have a continual uh, rain or loop to me these seem to be both the same but I guess you know it's an option if you want to go through that 
We can increase the density, increase the speed. Let's change the density up to 10, let's double it. And the speed up to 40. Enter. We press play, now it comes down a whole lot faster. Uh, you can uh, make it the method, distribution method, accurate or large scene. I've tried both of these two, I don't really see much of a difference. But I guess if you have like an extremely big scene, you would have to choose this option, which would pop up probably optimize the add-on for you to uh, work with it and render it out on your computer system which is also helpful now one thing that I've seen uh, we want to test out actually is the uh, angle of the rain usually when you have rain falling at an angle hitting the side of something it's going to reflect that angle onto uh, a flat plane now the altitude here is just the distance from uh, how far up the rain drops. Default is fine. Um, you have the point system with the droplets, either one is fine too. And you can uh, increase the scale of the rain, uh, the random length also, that's also helpful. But let's check out the wind part. That's the part that I'm pretty much really interested in. And let's change the angle, 45 degree angle, 45, enter. And look at that, it just comes off on onto the side. Now that is impressive. It automatically can sense um, where the side of a uh, building or a cube or whatever it is, and it reacts to it as it's supposed to, which is really helpful. Now, with this, you can see the drops are kind of splashing, uh, hitting up against the side of the building pretty hard. And they're reacting that way. If you want to extend the splash where it looks like it's almost uh, kind of drizzling down the side of the building or the side of the cube, you can simulate that with this add-on. I've, I've tried that out. And to do that, you have to go up to splashes. Let's uh, minimize all this. That's one thing that I think the developer can work on is when it comes to these buttons, kind of define them a little bit more like put them probably in a box so you can see you know because they kind of look like they're free freely suspended uh, but kind of framing them in the box would kind of help it's more look more a lot better aesthetically basically uh, but let's click on splashes and right now what we want to do with the splash let me see want to increase the gravity I think that was what causes the splashes to kind of, kind of like almost drizzle down the side of the building. Let's let's increase this to ten. Enter, and let's press play. Now, yeah, look at that. Now the splashes are not. They're kind of they're kind of hanging around a little bit longer, because the gravity is pulling them down. If we increase that to twenty, let's see what happens with that. Twenty. Enter, play. Yeah. So yeah, that would simulate like the water cascading down the side of the building and that has it gives it a more realistic look now another thing we can test out or I want to test out is how this interacts with an actual building okay so I'm gonna to go to I'm, I have a scene already created here for that uh, let's click on rain test on let me click on that don't save rain test on building that's the one I was sent wanting to uh, see how it works now I want to see if it actually is going to interact with this antenna tower here, this antenna, and these uh, AC units. So we have our building selected here, Vagapi, add rain, and let's, let's zoom in a little bit, and we're going to press play. Now you can see that the droplets look way too big. And what I've seen, you can make the droplets smaller if you want, but these these things for me to do is click on the building, press S and scale this up to make the building much bigger. Now the droplets seem to be more realistic. They look more realistic. Let me make this a little bit bigger, pull this down. And then we're going to click on our raindrops again and press play. And yeah, they're interacting with the uh, AC units on, this, on the outside of the building. And they're reacting with the this antenna here. They're splashing up against the antenna too. So that's that's uh, that's pretty impressive. And like I said before, 
You don't have to have a you know a plane above your scene that's going to generate uh, rain all over the whole uh, all of your whole scene. That with this add-on, it's just specific models you can apply rain to, and I'm going to show you that right now. So I'm going to press Shift A on my keyboard, mesh plane as to scale this up. Now if we press play again, you can see that the rain is just once again on the top of the building. It's not on the on the plane at all. And you can delete the rain if you want off of each particular uh, model. That option is right down here. Just press delete rain and that's gone. Let's click on our plane there, add rain. And the altitude, we just have to kind of push that up a little bit. Hopefully it's not freezing up my system. Uh, but yeah, the other option to increase the altitude, which is pretty much pushing the build or the rain up higher because right now it's just at the top of the building. But right now you press play, hopefully it won't freeze up. And it's, it's kind of lagging a little bit. But yeah, it's just on uh, the ground and not on the building. And you can delete that rain system too. Delete rain and then you can start all, all over again. So the bag of rain add-on is much much improved it's a whole lot it's it's really really great it's really specific really simple to actually uh, implements into your scenes and it helps like I said before when it comes to just applying the rain to certain models in your scene as opposed to the whole scene at once it helps with optimizing your system when it comes to rendering so yeah that's that that's today's blender quick tip and uh, helpful hopefully this was helpful for those of you who are watching and thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribed now, and those of you who are subscribed in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.